everyone, welcome to my channel. So today is another Halloween tutorial for you guys. Oh my goodness, this is my last Halloween tutorial for the season and I'm so sad that it has to come to an end, but it's been so much fun creating all these looks for you guys and I've just, I've had a blast. And thank you to everybody who has been loving my videos and commenting. I really, really appreciate it and I love hearing your feedback. So that means a great deal to me. Um, so in this video, I decided to do a, another mermaid tutorial. This one is completely opposite. So she is a fiery, I don't know, like starburst color mermaid. And I really, really like how this one turned out. It was so much fun to do. Um, so if you guys want to see how I created this mermaid, then just keep watching. Before we dive right in, um, if you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that big red button. I normally post videos every Monday and Friday. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I'm going to have those all linked down below for you guys. So the only thing I have on my eyes at the moment um, is my eyelid primer. I did not use my Urban Decay Primer Potion like I normally do. Instead, today I had decided to use my Sigma eyeshadow base primer. I've actually really grown to love this. I just kind of plop it on, spread it out, and it's good to go. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, starting with my T Natasha Denona palette. Um, now, you do not have to use this palette. You can use any colors that are near the colors that I'm going to use. This is just really the only colors that I had available to me in my collection. So I'm going to start with the color Soul, which is that bright yellow color, and I'm going to pop this above my crease, really high, almost to the eyebrows. Now I'm going to take the shade, I believe it's called Sinai, um, and we're going to put this in the crease and bring it up almost just as high as the yellow. I'm going to go back in with that yellow shade and just kind of blend that out. Now I'm going to take one of my favorite brushes, which is the ColourPop E1, um, and I'm going to take the color Pangen, which is the red shade in the palette, and I'm going to put this on my outer corner and work it into the crease. Now I'm gonna take this beautiful shimmer shade, Morgana, and I'm gonna apply this to my lid. Now I did try this with a brush, it did not work. I actually had to go in with my finger. So if you are going to use this palette, just make sure you go in with your finger. Going back into the red shade, I'm going to blend that out. Going in with Benefit Professional Face Primer, I'm going to prime my face. Oh. 
For foundation, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. For concealer, I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape and then I'm going to be setting that with the Peach Perfect Powder. Now I'm going to take my fluffy brush that I use the yellow shade on and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line, but I am going to bring it down below my eyelashes. Now going in with a pencil brush, I'm going to take the orange shade we used, Sinai, and I'm going to put that just above the yellow shade. Now going in with a flat liner brush, I'm going to take that red shade and we're going to put that into our waterline and on the lower lash line. Now with a liner brush, I'm going to take the shade Horizon and Soul and I'm going to put both of those colors in my brows. Okay, so I am going to put a hairnet over my face and we're going to begin doing the scales. Now I do advise go ahead and tearing out holes in the eye socket so you can see a little bit better. I actually did this after the fact I started putting on shadow so it messed up the scales a little bit. Um, and I am going to start with the red shade from the palette. Next shade I'm going to be using is the Orange Horizon shade.
Now I'm going to go back in with the yellow shade and put that just below the orange. Once you take off the hairnet, you'll be left with scales um, all over your face. Next, I'm applying my wig. I did pick up this wig from Spirit Halloween. So once I have this situated, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop highlighter, and this is in the color Pearlized. take the color popping Kathleen lights supernova shadow in this shade astrology and I'm actually going to use this as a liner Now I'm going to take that same highlighter that we used and use this as my inner corner and my brow bone shade. For mascara, I'm going to be using my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. For lipstick, I'm going to be using my ColourPop Ultra Satin Lipstick in the color Ambush. Now is my favorite part. I have a whole bunch of pearls and gems that I got. Uh, these are both coming from Walmart and Michaels. So definitely the last step is going to be some mermaid glitter gel from Tarte. You definitely don't want to put too, too much because it'll start looking flaky and it looks really bad. So we're just going to dab this.
right guys so that is it for this mermaid tutorial I really hope that you like how this turned out um, I'm definitely in love with it myself so if you guys did like this video please give it a big old thumbs up for me and I'll see you next time bye